Coronavirus cases in Nepal has reached 58,327. Meanwhile, corona-related death toll has reached 379 in Nepal, with additional eight deaths reported today. Four men and four women died of coronavirus infection in Nepal lately. Likewise, 1,068 people in Nepal returned home today after recovery from virus infection. With this, the number of people recovering from coronavirus infection in Nepal has reached 41,706. As of today, Nepal has 16,242 active cases of coronavirus infection. Among them, 173 are receiving treatment in the intensive care units and other 26 patients are receiving treatment on ventilators. Likewise, psychiatric Dr. Sudarshan Pradhan suggested people do yoga and meditation to mitigate fear and anxiety caused by coronavirus infection. He also urged people to see doctors if they consistently keep on developing mental problems. Examinations of 40 marks out of 100 full marks of grade 12 would now be held online. The Great Hall examination was sat stalled due to coronavirus pandemic. The National Examination Board has recommended the government to administer online examinations for 40 marks, practical examinations for 20 marks, and converting the total marks obtained by a student in Great Hall for the remaining 40 marks out of 100 full marks. The National Examination Board decided to go online mode in the context of the increasing risk of coronavirus infection. The recommendation of the board will come into effect only after the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology presents a proposal in the meeting of the Council of Ministers and gets it approved. The government has already issued the Student Learning Facilitation Guidelines 2077 Bikram Sambat with the provision of those not having internet access can use for the means of information technology. Examination controller of the board, Krishna Prasad Sarma, said that the schedule of online exams for 40 marks would be made public preparing necessary work procedures and questions after the government takes a decision on this alternative. Though the student has to complete the exam within the determined time from their own places, they have facility to use books and other sources. It will be a type of open exam as there will be no exam center, supervisor and security. Discussion is to be held among top leaders of the ruling Nepal Communist Party and the major opposition Nepali Congress regarding contemporary issues including appointment to vacant post of constitutional commissions tomorrow. Deputy Leader of the Nepal Communist Party Parliamentary Party, Subhas Chandra Nirmal said a meeting held between Nepal Communist Party Chair and Prime Minister K.P. Sarma Oli and Executive Chair of the Nepal Communist Party Pushpakamal Dahal Prasad today morning determined the meeting with the top leaders of the opposition party including Nepali Congress President Se Bahadur Dilba. Prime Minister Oli's press advisor Surya Thapa said Today's meeting between the two chairpersons is a part of the regular discussions. The meeting called for tomorrow is settled to discuss the appointment of the Chief Commissioner of the Commission for Investigation of Abuse of Authority. Some commissioners of the constitutional bodies, including Election Commission, Vice-Chancellor and Office Bearers of some universities, which are laying vacant. 76 temporary COVID-19 dedicated hospitals are to be set up in the nine districts of Sudhir Pashtun province to treat the corona patients. Following the government's directive to construct five paid temporary hospitals in local level, the Far West government has taken initiatives to set up the hospitals. Kansanpur based health office chief Sibiras Sunar said 1 million rupees each has been dispersed to local level for setting up hospitals. The Supreme Court has decided to close all courts on Thursday tomorrow and 
the Supreme Court has decided to close all courts tomorrow. An emergency plenary meeting of the Bex Court today decided to give a holiday in courts across the country to mourn the demise of former Chief Justice Anirudh Prasad Singh. Supreme Court spokesperson Madhra Kali Pokhran said...